words, words of inspiration. Hey, so when I was a young kid growing up in the Bronx, I would see graffiti all over the walls and I would just walk by like it didn't mean anything to me. But as I got older and I started to study street art and graffiti and hip hop, I started to recognize that these words had so much meaning. And whenever I do a piece of work, art, I like to use words of inspiration. Words like dreams, evolve, love, shine, grow, peace. Um, these words have so much power. So I want to work with you guys and show you my technique on how I put together words. That's good. So whenever I create a piece, I start with words, right? So I'll lay it down. Words with this. That says dreams, right? And it's a perfect time for you to work on your own technique, right? So you can just practice on a piece of paper writing different words, right? That's the word love. And I would just take hours and hours of just writing on my own words and styles that I liked. And when I finally got comfortable to do one, I started doing them. And like I said, there's only one rule in art for me, and that there's no mistakes, right? Because you're just learning as you go and experimenting with different styles. So I like to use markers on paper and just write down different words as I lay a piece. So graffiti is like a secret language, right? It doesn't matter if someone else can't read what you're writing. If you, if you know what it is and you like the style and you like how it looks, it looks sort of abstract, but it gives meaning in it, that is a beautiful thing because you want the uh, viewer to have to look deep within your art piece to see the meaning, to catch the meaning for themselves, right? So, I just like to layer a piece of paper with words, or a canvas, or a wood panel, with a lot of words that mean something to me, right? Inspire. I'll put love. I'll put evolve. And whenever I look at a wall, um, like I could be in New York City and I'll see a wall of graffiti, and automatically I'll think of the history of that wall, right? Because there's so many layers of old graffiti with new graffiti, with urban decay, with um, like torn posters. And for me, I, I try to incorporate that in my art. I like to incorporate different layers, right? So you have to look deep within the piece to get an idea of what it is. So again, the cool thing too is you can practice as we, you know, we're stuck in quarantine. Um, we can practice our styles, right? And um, you can just take a piece of paper. You don't even need markers. You can use markers, you can use pens, you can use a pencil just to practice your style, right? Think of words that inspire you. Yeah, pens, markers, whatever. There's something that inspires you. Uh, think of words that mean something to you. You can just work on your name. I put my name there. Just think of different words. Uh, words of inspiration, like love. And do it as fast as you can. And don't worry about making mistakes because you can do it over and over again and practice, right? So like I said, you can use pens, markers, crayons, whatever you have in your house to just work on your style and think of words that inspire you. Because, and I always like to keep it positive because words of inspiration are so powerful. Whatever you speak into existence, whatever you write into existence will come to be. So like I said, I use words in layers on my work, right? So I'll use words like dream, create, inspire, peace, love, um, 
evolve, words like that, because when someone looks at those, it resonates with them. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had a good time and peace.